Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go through some properties of gas. And those three properties of gas are, as you can see, natural gas, right there, propane, and butane. So their chemical formulas are CH4, natural gas sometimes we call methane as well, CH4, one carbon, four hydrogens, propane is C3H8, and butane is C4H10. You can see how the carbons and the hydrogens all bond together in the three of them. Okay. And all three form a family, and there's more, called the hydrocarbons because of hydrogen and carbon. Now, just so everybody watching out there is, knows this or is aware, the numbers and everything we're going to go through today in this properties of gas are taken from the Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code, the CSA one B149.1. This is Canada, okay? So all of our American friends watching out there, this is a Canadian code, and some of these, although they are properties of gas, they should be the same. Maybe you have some different numbers wherever you are. Just keep that in mind. But that's all these numbers are coming here from the CSA um, B149. And it's actually in the back in what's called the annex, kind of like the appendix. Annex I is where all these numbers are coming from. Okay, so if you were to take this code book and go and flip into the back and find this, what you're going to come up with is something, what you'll find, something like this. All right, this is table I1. This is propane, butane, natural gas, and it goes through all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to cover some of these in just a second, go through what some of them mean. And what you have here, you have properties... And note, this one is imperial, okay? There's also the same table, the same version, we're gonna have in metric, okay? Same thing, same, same exact um, properties, just a, a metric version of it. Now, most of the ones we deal with today or I'm gonna go through are the imperial ones, all right? So there's gonna be some Fahrenheit stuff, um, that kind of idea. All right, now, also in the back, you may want to take a look at this in your book, is combustion data, okay? Air requirements, ignition temperature, flame temperature, that's kind of stuff. We're going to talk about a couple of those as well. And at the same token, you have the imperial version, and as well, you now have a metric version too, okay? So if you find those in the back of your code book, take a look. Now I just want to go through a couple of them and explain what they are. Now, back to our sheet, natural gas, propane, and butane. What we're going to do, these are the ones that we want to deal with. The heat values, specific gravities, boiling points, so on and so forth. So we'll just go from one to the next. So the idea is heat values is basically, in this case, if you take a cubic foot of either natural gas, propane, or butane, and you burn it, how much heat energy are you going to get? And we're going to measure this in BTUs or British thermal units. So for natural gas, we're going to get 1,000. And that's 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. Now propane is a little bit more, okay? a little bit more stuff in every cubic foot. And we're going to get 2,520 BTUs per cubic foot. The butane is even a little bit more. It's 3,260 BTUs per cubic foot. All right? Now, the specific gravities, okay, or specific gravity. We're going to deal here with air. Or sorry, we're going to deal here with the vapor state. And the idea is, in this case, air is our starting point, and air is 1. So if you have a gas that's lighter than air, you're going to be have a specific gravity or we sometimes even say relative density of less than one. So in this case for natural gas, it's 0 0.55, which indicates that gas is lighter than air or natural gas is lighter than air. The propane okay, is heavier. Propane vapor is heavier than air. So it's 1.52, which means that if propane escapes, 
it actually will congregate on the floor or below the air, which, which can cause a lot of problems. And there's some code clauses that relate to just that fact. There can be a lot more safety issues to do with that. And butene is even heavier, it's two. All right, now the boiling points. Where does it go from a liquid to a vapor? Natural gas, well actually let's start with this. When we think of water, where does water go from a liquid to a vapor? Well, it's 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100, 100 degrees Celsius. For natural gas, it's at negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit, which means natural gas is always generally in a vapor state wherever we find it. We're not gonna find it in a liquid state, it's too cold. It gets to a liquid below negative 260. Now propane and butane are a little bit different. Propane changes over at minus 44, all right? So, I mean, it doesn't always get, doesn't re really get that cold, but if it did, it would be hard pressed for the propane to get to a vapor state. Butane, 32, so at freezing. If we're above freezing, butane's gonna be in a vapor state. Below freezing, in a liquid state. All right, next one, limits of flammability. That's essentially the percentage of air, or sorry, the percentage of the gas in air you need in order to have combustion. So for natural gas, it's four to 15%. So what this really means is you need between four and 15% natural gas in the air, okay, in order for it to combust. That's not a, a lot to play with, but that, that's your limits of flamm flammability. Okay? Propane is even a little bit less, 2.4 to 9.5%. And butane's even a little bit less. So once again, if we look at the butane number, 1.9 to 8.5%, that's how much you have to have in the air in order for the combustion to occur. Okay, next one, ignition temperature. This is what we need, some type of heat source, a spark, hot surface igniter, flame even, to light the gas. So for natural gas, it's 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Propane is 920 degrees Fahrenheit, and butane is 900 degrees Fahrenheit. You need that ignition source to light the gas. Now, what does a flame temperature come up to? Well, it's easy for all of them. They're all the exact same, 3600. That's what our flame heat produces. Okay? And once again, these are all in Fahrenheit here. You can find them in Celsius in the tables, once again in Annex I, but right now we're doing it all in Fahrenheit. The flame speed, how fast does the flame burn? And it burns, once again, the, once again, the flame burns back towards the source, okay? So this one is 25 inches per second for natural gas, 32 inches per second for propane, and 33 inches per second for butane. And then last but not least, the gas composition. We kind of already talked about that. CH4, C3H8, and C4H10. Okay, so there you go. Just a quick introduction to properties of gas. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it works for you. Check out the back of the code book to find all these yourself. Have a great day. Enjoy your studies. Take care. Adios.